Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy. Today is going to be an unboxing video because I've received two packages from uh, Toy Ploy subscribers that you can see in the background. And I have one package in the middle, which is something that I picked up off eBay this week that is something people are always asking me to fix or do a, a sort of custom restoration version on. And I'm being helped today by two of my Action Man helpers. On the right, we have Pinhead because uh, someone stuck pins in his head. And on the left, we actually have Lefty because his eyes only want to look to the left. Now, a lot of people have asked me about the t-shirts that these figures wear and whether they can get versions of them for their own action men. At the moment I have to say you can't, these are just customs that I have made for my figures. I've been looking into sort of getting some made but the cost is uh, just too much and I don't think people will be prepared to pay that much for them so I'm looking into it but currently these are just the customs that my figures wear so sorry about that but you can keep on asking and I will keep on looking and at some point I will hopefully find a cheaper way of getting them produced. But let's start up by opening this first package which as I say something I picked up off eBay recently because every Everybody keeps asking me to do this, which is to show how to repair the paint on a vintage Boba Fett figure. So I picked this up off eBay and you know what? That's actually not very beaten up. Oh, that's quite annoying. I was hoping for this to be a quite a beaten up figure because he was pretty cheap. But as you can see, the paint is actually pretty good on him. So I think I'm going to have to keep on hunting to see if I can find a properly beaten up Boba Fett. So if uh, anyone's got one and uh, is watching or would like to donate it to the channel, drop me a line. I can uh, do a trade with you or, uh, you know, we can sort something out. But uh, actually, that's not particularly beaten up. A bit disappointing, but I do try, as you can see, because everybody keeps asking me to do uh, restorations on him. So I will keep on hunting. Anyway, let's crack on and open the two other boxes that we have here. So this first box here is uh, from Mike Lloyd. So a big thank you to Mike for sending this over. I'm going to get into this and we'll see what it is he has sent. My trusty knife here to cut through all the tape. It's There we go. Let's open this up and I'll see what's inside. I have to be careful of hitting the camera with this. Ooh, and there goes Lefty. He's fallen over. So there's a letter here. Let's have a quick look and see what that says. It says, hello Dave, toy polio. Yes, I get that a lot. A lot of people spell toy polio wrong. I'm understanding. I know that spell checks always change polio to polio. Just a small token to show my appreciation for all the work and videos you have created. Your work has inspired me to get creative and start restoring. Now, most Sundays, if I'm not working, I'm off to the car boot. Well, that's great. Thanks a lot, Mike. Let's take a look and see what is in this box. So we have, well, first up, we have a little box here which says this is uh, Uniforms of the World, contains uniform and 11 great accessories, fits all 12 inch soldiers. This looks like Action Man uh, uniforms to me. Let's open this box and see what's inside. Oh, there is. Right, we'll have a look at that in a minute. And then there's another big tin here of stuff. Let's see what this is. There's more bits, there's loads of packages. Right, I'm gonna get all of this out and we'll move the box out of the way so we can open it up. Okay, so this is what was in that box. It's easier for me to move stuff out of the way because it uh, takes up a lot of space. You can see, what have we got here? Oh, look at that, a whole load of little Lego, they look like minifigures, all sorts of uh, little creatures that we've got there. I'll have to make some of these up. Are they all the same? These are all the same, but they are full of very useful looking pieces. And I'm guessing that is why Mike has sent them, because if you know what I do on this channel, you'll see that I use an awful lot of Lego for fixing things. So look at that, a whole pile of good sources of Lego parts. Then we have this uh, Uniforms of the World box, which apparently is sort of Action Man overstock stuff. So when they couldn't sell it, they boxed it up in these sort of packages and sold it on. So let's open this up and we'll see what's inside. Looks like some good bits. Wow, look at that. There's a whole uniform in here. So we've got a, uh, that looks like a sort of Arctic Explorer top with a whole load of accessories. There's a little pair of gloves there. There's a white rifle. Got some weapons and all sorts of bits. There's a pair of trousers as well by the looks of it. Wow, that is fantastic. Really useful. Well, I'll put that on a figure later on. Very cool stuff. And then what's in this? Or is this just a box of sweets. I think it may just be a box of sweets, you know, which is very kind. I do have an incredibly sweet tooth. It is just a box of sweets. Well, that is gonna get eaten as I'm fixing toys. So, well, that's a really nice uh, lot of stuff. Thanks again, Mike. That's uh, really generous of you to send that over. Uh, these will get eaten and all of these will get used. Now, this next box comes from Tom over at Pizarro's Pieces. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the description of this video. I bought stuff off Tom before and he recently said that he'd got a load of bits that he thought I would like and that would be useful 
for the channel so he has very kindly sent this over i have no idea what's inside it so let's again just get it open i've got again my trusty knife let's cut through some of this tape and we'll see what's inside it it's a very heavy box so really sort of quite substantial so there must be something weighty inside so again let's open this up blimey there is a lot of stuff and a note so let's get that note out and give it a read so it says today if hope you're well mate just that i would send you a little christmas care package i know you were after some of the 80s mcdonald's pull and release cars i was they'll be in a future video or a prior video depending on when i get this edited but i thought i may as well send you a box of bits as i'm way overstocked currently and it is the season to be giving well that's very kind it also says there's some bits in there for mrs toy ploy as well and that tom's channel has been going for three years which is absolutely amazing i'm always pleased to hear that people are still getting on with the, their youtube videos so as i say there will be a link in the description to that let's just get on and we'll see what's inside this box it is very heavy i think I'm just going to have to sort of tip it all out and we'll have a look at it sort of piece by piece. So here is everything that was in that box. I haven't really sort of looked at it, so we'll just rummage through and we'll see exactly what Tom has sent over. First up, the one in the middle is a uh, three pack of uh, VHS for the A-Team. It's funny, we were watching the A-Team quite recently and I thoroughly enjoyed it again. So I might have to dig out an old VCR and uh, we'll give that another go as well. Nice three pack there. Stick that at the back and then we have what's in this one some bubble wrap let's open that up it is an official star wars rogue one mug that's pretty cool actually i always I like a good cup of tea while i'm fixing toys so i can use that in future very nice move that off to one side then we have a few comics so what have we got here we've got some start this is the star wars weekly number 114 i don't think i've read that one we've got number 109 and we've got uh number four very nice i do like my comics i will be reading those then we have a few issues of starlog magazine again something i used to get back in the day these always have good bits in them always di different articles i can see this one's got something for empire and raiders of the lost ark let's pull out the other couple and see what's there it's also got uh, william shatner on the new star trek project i'm guessing that is the movie and what's this one nice one with boba fett on the front of it very cool. Oh, well, I'll give those a read as well. I do like the old star logs. Put them to one side. We have the Merit Greedy Gobblers game. Blimey, when is this from? This looks quite old. Who made this? Well, Merit, obviously, he says. That does look old. From 1989. Look at that. Fully complete little game there. I'll give that a play later as well. Ooh, pardon me. Then we go over here. We have the uh, Quantum Leap storybook, the very first story based on the first episode. Oh, I like that. Do you know, I watched that as well quite recently. Uh, there's a channel here in the UK called Forces TV that's been showing an awful lot of uh, old sci-fi and stuff like that. So that's where I've been watching things like the A-Team and uh, Quantum Leap, very nice. There is a Mickey pin, that's uh, what uh, he said was for Mrs. Toy Ploy. I will pass it on to her. I'm sure she will like that. There are some Dick Tracy glossy movie cards. Has it got one stick of bubble gum in there as well? Always does. Nice. And what do we have here? We have a Star Wars Episode One pin badge in a heart. That's pretty cool. Then we can move over here, and we've got another. This is a full box of stuff, as you can see. We have a classic uh, Star Trek Mego Lieutenant Sulu. This is from the recent sort of reissues that uh, the Mego Corp have been doing. I like that. It's not a figure I have. I do have a couple of the original uh, Star Trek Mego figures. I've got uh, Kirk and Spock, so Sulu can go and stand next to them. Very nice. That's cool. Let's move that one to the back there. Oh, we've got another carded figure here. This looks like a Star Wars card to me. Move that aside. And this is a couple of Jowers. Wow, Jowers are always useful. I need these to uh, stand next to all of my droids that I have in my little droid army. I like that. And they're not figures I have, actually. Very cool. I like those stick those back old lefty can hold those and then there's a big pile of stuff in here let's open this up and see what's in here ah oh, well here's what tom was talking about i did say to him a while ago i wanted to do a video on the pullback cars and i needed to get some of the mcdonald's ones so he's included here a whole load of mcdonald's cars these are the ones i was talking to him about which are from the sort of early 80s i think that's about 1984 
That is uh, Big Mac, the uh, police chief of uh, McDonald's Town. And then there's a whole load of others here, which I think are slightly later ones. I can just read the date on that, about 1988. So we've got some later issue ones as well. Very nice. It looks like a full set of those. And a little boat version of Ronald McDonald. When's that from? That says 1995. Past my time, I think. And then we have Star Wars Bendems. So that's uh, Admiral Akbar Bendem. We've got Han Solo Bendem. And then a Chewie and a Tuscan Raider. There's a bit of I've never owned any of these. I keep seeing them. I've never bothered picking them up. Wow, that is an ugly Chewbacca, if ever there was an ugly Chewbacca. Sort of charming in its own way. Then we've got some more. What's this? This is more McDonald's cars, is it? This is another little pullback car. I don't know what that one is. Oh, from Hot Wheels. Very cool. Unopened. And a whole load. Let me just move this out of the way. Of badges. And these all look like McDonald's badges as well. Look at that. Vintage McDonald's badges. Say no to strangers. Definitely. Wow, look at that. I guess these were given out in the uh, McDonald's as you went in. There's a whole pile of them. Very cool. I like that. Well, great. That's an excellent package of stuff, Tom. Thanks ever so much. That's a, a whole load of things for me to be sorting through and working out what goes with what. Well, that is amazing. Thanks ever so much to uh, Mike Lloyd for sending in this uh, uniforms of the world and the Lego bits and also the big box of sweets. Those really will get eaten quite quickly. Uh, and this is a fantastic little set here. I think I'm going to certainly uh, find a figure that I can put this on because uh, the stuff inside it is pretty much brand new. I also like this box as well. It's quite an intriguing box, not something I'd ever seen before. So uh, big thanks to Mike for that. And then also thanks to Tom for this whole array of pieces. It's a really sort of wild collection of stuff and some really Really interesting stuff in there so thanks for sending that over Tom. Both Tom and Mike will be getting something back in the post from me. I do send out toy polloi badges and my stickers and also I have some collectible trading cards that I send out to anybody who uh, sends stuff in to me or anybody who helps me with projects that I'm working on so uh, they will get some of those in the post very soon and really just uh, thanks again for sending stuff in. It's always uh, lovely to sort of get these things and there's some interesting things that I have never seen before so I hope this video has been of interest to you and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.